Hello, welcome back to another video of CS106A, and this is for assignment 6, milestone 3. Uh, what we want to do now in this video is to implement another class called Name Surfer Database. This is where we're going to read the lines from our text file and put it into a some sort of um, sorting um, mechanism. Um, and here, the best mechanism to use here is the hash map. Okay, that's where you put in a certain value and you return a certain thing and you can put in an object and it returns an object pretty much they're objects that you're putting in and returning and um, basically uh, this class will interact with the um, name surfer class so the name surfer will call uh, information that it needs and then it's going to uh, ask the name database if there is something that exists there and then it's going to return it to to the name surfer class and the name surfer class will hand that off to the uh, to the name surfer, um, name surfer, what is that called again? Name surfer graph. Okay, but this is just the name surfer database that we're working with first. So, um, this is what we want as a result. After we're able to implement the database, we want to be able to test it by calling Sam, get that, get that return, and then call Samantha and get that return. Okay, uh, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's take a look. So the first thing that you need to know is that if you know the mechanism of what you're going to be using, might as well just call that. So here we're going to call it private hash map, and I can just call it map, but hash map names database, okay, private to this class. Uh, we want to tell it what it's going to do, otherwise it's going to be generic. So we're going to put in a string, and we're going to return a name surfer entry, okay, and, and we're talking about the whole entire entry equals to the new and hash map again and this time uh, we're going to repeat that string common name surfer entry with the parentheses to initialize it um, of course you can't use the hash map unless you use the proper import package and luckily it tells you which one it requires java util so java util especially hash map but let's go ahead and generalize it just to the util uh, we do need also a buffered reader since our text file is, uh, we're going to have to read each line and notice how each name starts with a capital letter A and then lowercase, um, you know, like Abby, A, big A, B, B, I, E. So we want to follow that same format. So uh, we also need to import our java.io, which is where the buffered reader is going to come from. Okay. Now, um, <coughs> In our name surfer database, that's where we're going to go ahead and have all those lines stored into the uh, stored into the uh, to the names database hash map. Okay, so to do it, we're going to start off with try because that's how a buffered reader works. We want to try it. Buffered reader reader rd is equal to new buffered reader and new uh, file reader and the file is going to be called file name file name close parentheses and semicolon okay uh, after you call the buffered reader we want to read the line so while true as long as there's a new line we want to go to rd dot read line oops read line and put that into a string okay and we'll call that string line now when we stick that into the string, we want to now break it apart so that we can follow the format of our hash map. So what we're going to do here is we're first going to create a name surfer entry. That's the easiest thing to do. So create name surfer entry. We'll call it entry and then new uh, name surfer uh, entry with the string line that we're going to put into. Okay, so we're taking the line, the string that we read from our text file, putting it into <coughs> something called name surfer entry, uh, called entry. Okay, and what we're now going to do is break up that entry file into the string of the name, because that's how we're going to retrieve them. We're going to use something called a key. Key is going to be the trigger word that we're going to use to retrieve any sort of information from our hash map. Uh, and if you're wondering what the hash map is, the hash map is not really organized in any way. Think of it as a grab bag full of uh, values with return values. And basically, it's like when you call the name of like a person that's in the bag, let's say James, 
then James in the bag will say, oh, I'm James, and then he just like pops out and tells you who he is and everything. So it's like keeping bags of people. Um, I know that sounds weird, but that's how it works. Um, and then now we're going to put it in our hash map. So names.database, uh, we want to say put, okay? And the key value will be the name of the person. So that would be uh, entry.getName because we have already made that method in our name surfer entry. And the value would be the entry itself, the ent the name with all the uh, numbers that goes with it. Okay. Um, and I forget the comma. All right. So that's how we create that. Now, when you read the line, you need to check to see if it's at the end. So check to see if line is equal to null. If not line is equal to, no to null, then you just go ahead and break it. <coughs> when it breaks out of the while loop, make sure you close your reader. Okay, and that's the formality of using a buffered reader. And then make sure that after you close it, uh, when you do the catch file, you need to also, uh, when you do the try, uh, try syntax, you also need to include a catch. In this case, it's an ILE exception error. And then we're going to have it throw new error exception. Uh, ex. Okay. Now, error exception ex has its own import class. So let's see what it we can. Okay, there we go. Import the ACM util. So it's ACM file. Okay. Uh, and we do not need to specify to the error exception um, <coughs> class. But, anyways, um, that's the formal formality for being able to read the files, stick it into the database, and then catch it and throw new files, uh, throw, throw new error exceptions if uh, there's some kind of problem with um, doing this whole operation. Now, uh, are we done with this? No, we need to also include a find entry, okay? And so to do a find entry, what we, what we need to create is, um, let's see, what we need to create, uh, well, we have our names DB already, so really, to find the entry, we just go ahead and go to return uh, names. Well, I see that's the thing. Okay, I need to step back a little bit and tell you uh, when we put in a name, we also have to check to see if the name itself is of the appropriate uh, syntax. Okay, so that would be the smart thing to do first to ch check to see if the name given starts off with capital letter at the very beginning and then. Uh, smaller lowercase letters after that. So um, the best way to do that is to use a method. So we're going to say name equals to check the name. And we're going to take that string of the name. Of course, this means that we have to create a new method. So it will be private <coughs> string because we're returning a string of check name. And we want to put the parameters of the string name. Okay. And in check name, uh, what we need to do is first check if the first letter is uppercase. If not, then make it uppercase. So if the first, and since we're going to take the first letter, we're going to make it into a character. If the first letter of the name, um, and first let's pull it out, so name dot uh, char at the zero position, okay. If that character, okay, is lowercase, so character of what? Character of the first letter. If this is lowercase, what do you want to do? You want to make it into an uppercase. So first letter is going to be now equal to uh, character to uppercase. Okay, so what I just did here um, is took the name that we inputted, uh, made the first letter into an uppercase if it's not already an uppercase letter. And then now we need to take the rest of it. So what we're going to do is create another string of the other letters. And then we're going to check uh, to see if they're lowercase. So we're going to go ahead and say string other letters. <coughs> so that means name.substring from, not from zero, from one this time, because we're going from the second letter on. And we're going to check to see if they're uh, uppercase or lowercase. And actually, you know what? Forget checking it. Why don't we just automatically just make it? So we're going to say uh, characters um, to. Oh well, that's only if we're talking about one. We're talking about the whole entire rest of the name. So it's got to be other letter letters with an S 
dot to lowercase. There we go. So we converted all those letters to lowercase, and now we're going to have to put this whole thing together. So our name will be equal to the first letter plus the other letters. Okay, so we just reformatted the whole thing. Of course, you need to return it. So return that name, and there you go. We check the name to make sure the first letter is an uppercase value, and the rest of them are lowercase, because if you look at your name database, that's how everything is. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that in the first place. But going back to the database um, here, once you check the name is equal to that, and of course, we want to return the name database, names database, with that uh, <coughs> with that name as the key. Okay, so that's how I implement my name surfer database. The last thing you want to do is go back to your name surfer program and implement that database. So we're going to go to private and then name surfer database and we'll call that the names db equals to new name surfer database. Okay, we just constructed that. Um, of course, we need to have a what? Uh, we need a file name. So the file name will look to the side, which will be names hyphen data dot txt. Okay. Um, and then uh, we can implement it into our action perform. So what we want to do here is to um, go ahead and retrieve the text. So to retrieve the text, we're going to go ahead and say um, <clears throat> mm, let's see the best way to do this one. Well, okay. First of all, we want to print ln and still have graph, <coughs> but this time we're going to add the names.db dot and we're going to say get. Oops. Get. Oh, right. We can't do that. I forgot. They have their own method that we have in here called um, name, certain no, find entry. Oops, find entry. So names.db find entry. Okay, so find entry and we'll stick in the text from the name field. So that'll be our string, okay? And that will return our entry of that name from the database. Uh, but the problem is you can't actually return a some kind of uh, text version of it. So I see what I just need to do. What I need to do is I need to first create a name surfer entry. So name surfer entry, and we'll just call it an entry. And new name surfer entry of uh, name of of what of this guy right here. Okay, since that's going to return an entry um, that object, we're going to put that object into this guy right here. Once we return, uh, we we put in the entry value into our new name surfer entry. What we can do is graph our to string file. Remember the to string that we made before? So entry dot to string, and that should create that whole name with all the digit values. Okay, this is when you click on the graph button. So we need to do the same thing when we see the uh, name field. okay. So the name field, um, when you hit return, should also create that same name surfer entry again. And then go ahead and make a two string of that. And then clear just as clear. So when I run this um, name surfer program, OK, that pops up. Let's try Sam. Good. Sam po pops up and Samantha. OK, good. Samantha pops up. Uh, let's see if they have Kai. Okay, wow, look at that. They have Kai and became popular later on in the years. That's, that makes me a little happy. So, um, anyways, that's Milestone 3. If you like this video and if it helps you in any way, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave them in the box. Uh, I'll be doing the next few videos. Get that done soon. And again, um, just let me know what you guys want. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.